the week of, what the hell's the date, March 27th, 2022, this is Mojo Weekly, I'm John. Hey, hey, are you ready for 10 crazy minutes? Here we go. It's Jash. <laughs> What's that from? Well, I don't think That's I recognize What? Yeah, 10 what? crazy minutes, I don't know. I don't know. Are you ready for 10 crazy minutes? Here we go. Aye, 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 aye. Oh, there we go. Crazy taxi. Sorry. My fault. See, there, wow. Apologies. I was a little... I, maybe Apologies. I should have thrown that in at the end. <laughs> yeah. I just didn't know that if we'd hit that copyright infringement, uh, I, I'm singing a an Offspring song. I was yeah. trying to think of Foo Fighters, but, you know, Offspring is a close D league <laughs> version. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so ready. Here's your news, Josh. Not a lot this week, but I, I dug up some nuggets for you. A new Ghostbusters Ooh, boy, game is coming. Ghostbusters game that. from the developer of Friday the 13th. Oh, shit. The game. Cool. Yeah. And, uh, and the developer of That's Predator cool. Hunting Grounds. So, um, on cool. Tuesday, this past Tuesday, Ilphonic announced Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, an all-ages take on its brand of four versus one asymmetric multiplayer games where you play as your own hmm. original Ghostbusters team. That's pretty dope. That's a good idea. I like it. That's I like a good it. idea. Yep. That works. Uh, so as Ghostbusters, players will wield proton packs, particle throwers, ghost traps, and a PKE meter in first person in order to track, attack, and subdue ghosts as a team of four. As one of a variety of playable ghosts, players will also terrorize everyday citizens in a variety of locations, possess objects in the environment, and teleport across maps using rifts. And ghosts aren't defenseless. Like yeah, ghosts aren't defenseless either. They can slime and stun the enemy Ghostbusters team as they try to haunt each map to completion. There's no death in Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. Damn. Just Busters going into a downed state. That's pretty, That's pretty badass. I'm down for that. Yep, I, I, like I, that. I dig these asymmetric games, you know, as long as you can get a group of people to play with, you know. Um, right. I'm I'm always down with these types of games. They've got the Evil Dead one <clears throat> coming out as well. That looks pretty neat. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's super cool. A uh, little more about. Hey, the do you game. have any? Do you have any good Friday the Thirteenth stories from that? Playing with friends or playing online or? I had a. You know, I didn't play that one as much as I should have, but I really had some good sessions playing that one online. It's it's still live, but holy fuck, is it buggy? It yeah. is. Uh, you, you'll you will be in the middle of a very intense session, and everything will crash, and you'll be like, "Well, that was a waste of forty five minutes." Yeah, like yeah. it sucks. That's a bummer. It was a great idea, and like I said, yeah. I have, I did have a few really good like sessions of that game, but I didn't play it nearly yeah. as much as I. I'll could. have to share one someday about my buddies and I when we we played Friday the Thirteenth once. No, we got nothing but on, time. Lay it on me. Are you sure? All right, yeah. hey, All right. hey. So here here's this one thing. Me and five friends, we had this fucking amazing idea where we'd invite the four of us, me and four friends, and then we would just have a bunch of randoms come in. And we, we, we basically said, no matter what happens, one of us five win. And we knew who each other were because we were talking throughout the entire thing in a party chat, whereas the other, what is it, 13 total, I think it is. So the other, whatever, seven or eight couldn't hear us, but we could yeah. hear ourselves. Well, it just so happened that one of the five of us was Jason. Oh, okay. And so... We had Jason walking with four other random, like, um, you know, camp, what are they called? Camp teachers, whatever they're like camp, counselors, whatever yeah. the camp counselors. Yeah. yeah. Going through finding all the other kids and slashing them to bits. And so we went through so that we would for sure win. Yeah. Well, the very next round, every single one of those other people rejoined the same one for a rematch. And they fucking destroyed us. We were like <laughs> completely just, and they did the same shit to us back to us. And we thought, Oh man, we got such a great idea. No matter what, we're going to win every single time because yeah. one of us is it, whatever. But if it's not, yeah. it'll be five on one, Jason. You know, we got this whole thing. It's perfect. The perfect idea, but it fucking backfired <laughs> in immediately the next turn. It was great. That's awesome. It was a blast. So uh, to wrap up the firehouse thing, uh, your Ghostbusters team, or sorry, to wrap up the Ghostbusters thing, uh, the Ghostbusters team will firehouse. set up shop in the film's firehouse, complete with oh, Ecto-1. In the group's garage, Winston, voiced by Ernie Hudson, of course, will offer guidance, while Ray Stans, voiced by Dan Aykroyd, will give insight into the spectral world from Ray's occult books, conveniently located just across the street from the firehouse. Uh, you'll customize your own Ghostbuster and your loadout, and uh, traditional gear is available. Uh, other unlockable weapons and equipment will also become available to further customize your team. Coming out, uh, doesn't say when, but it's coming out pretty much on everything, uh, except for Switch. So 
P, uh, PlayStations, Xboxes, and PC via the Epic Game Store. Right on. Yeah, man. I, I love that idea. I think it's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up, we've got a uh, shmup story in honor of uh, our last Intergalactic Shm Appreciation Month episode this year. Uh, City Connection will release Psycho <laughs> Shooting Stars Alpha for the PlayStation 4 on June 30th in Japan, followed by Psycho Shooting Stars Bravo on July 28th. Uh, about 4,000 yen each. You can get it on Amazon Japan, etc. Um, I'm sure it'll be, uh, let's see, blah, 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 blah. First launch in North America, yada, yada, yada. That's all you need to know. Hmm. That's all I'm telling you about this one. Wow. It's coming out. Not giving it too much because it's City Connection and you never <laughs> know the kind of hack job they're going to do. So we'll see. See, I thought you were talking about City Connection, like the game City Connection, which is a fantastic <laughs> game. No, no, not at all. Classic. The classic uh, city connection. I thought we were going into something exciting, but no. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. The Psycho collections, that's really cool. That's exciting. Yeah. That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nintendo, this is our final <laughs> news item of the week. Nintendo has released the 14.0 system software update for the Switch, which adds groups, basically folders, to the all software menu and uh, adjustments oh. to Bluetooth audio if you're interested in that. So groups feature was added to the all software menu. You can now create groups of software to help organize your software titles. Hmm. Make making groups for different game genres, developers, or whatever you'd like may make it easier to find the application you want. Up to 100 groups can be made uh, with a max of 200 titles per group. So this is a little different than folders, actually. So I was excited right away because I was like, all right, I'm just going to dump all this shit in a folder and call it good. No, 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 sir. Uh, You can group. uh, So you can add one game to multiple groups if you'd like. So let's say you have uh, a group of shmups. So uh, you you put a Capcom shmup in there. But then you also have a group of retro for retro games. And you're like, well, it's a retro shmup, so I'll also put it in there. And then you have a group for Capcom games. So you're like, well, it's a Capcom shmup. It's, it's fucking gigawing. It's retro. And uh, it's also Capcom. So you put it in three different. So I don't know how I feel about it. It's really not that great um, because it requires hmm. you to do a lot of organization, you know, of, uh, of your shit. Um, a lot of pre And you do it yourself. It doesn't automatically like group it for you or there's no, no like you, genres or anything. Yeah. You do it yourself. You completely do it yourself. <clears throat> I was hoping it would be like iPhone where iPhone has the same kind of feature that I honestly never use, but it like automatically you can swipe all the way to the, the, you keep swiping left and groups that they've automatically created will show up. So like you said, it'll automatically appear as like social media or, games or sure uh, or you know uh video streaming yeah. or whatever i was hoping i stopped uh, like that i stopped listening as soon as you said iphone blah, blah, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. yeah basically <laughs> I, yeah, I went i blacked out again but um seriously can you do that with the playstation 4 5s and the xboxes can you group games and stuff playstation 4 has like just straight really? folders so I have a, a, a folder for VR games on my PlayStation. I have a oh, folder no for way. Shmups. But those games, you can't add the same game to multiple <clears throat> folders, at least as far as oh. I know. Um, and I find that more oh. convenient and more useful, but whatever. Uh, hmm. Nintendo making baby steps five years after the release of the Switch. Yeah, there still isn't. What There's, still, there's no party chat. There's no party <laughs> chat. I mean, yeah. for fuck's sake. Um <laughs> God damn it. We're, 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 that's 15 years behind that. I don't care about folder structure. I don't care about cutesy little bullshit. I don't care about the Nintendo online adding in 64 stuff. Give me a party chat. And I think I honestly would stop playing the other consoles as often as I do. Yeah, right. I literally log into discord or PlayStation to start a party chat, to talk to my friends and then play a switch. Yeah. Cause yeah, I don't know. It's ridiculous. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, and just Nintendo being Nintendo, Nintendo, but hey, at least hey, it's kind of there now, I guess, for those who were demanding it. Uh, anyway, demanding a folder structure. Yeah, that's, right. That's got to be the top of the list of Nintendo's issues. Like, <laughs> yeah. all right, we're finally going to give it to the masses. This is what they've been asking for. What would Reggie Phil's me do? He'd give them folders. <laughs> Fucking Nintendo. All right, that's it for the news. Time for the new releases. All right. 
Uh, we got a few games here. Uh, Crusader Kings 3 coming to the next-gen consoles for all your uh, obscure strategy obtuse kind of needs. Uh, WRC 10 for Switch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say WKRP in Cincinnati com- is coming out for the Switch? Yes. <laughs> yes. Now I'm excited. Yes, exactly. Now, mm, John, you knew you knew how to wet my whistle. You play a DJ in the 70s. <laughs> As God is my witness, <laughs> I could have swore turkeys could fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Death Stranding, the director's cut, is making its way to PC. All cool. Right. Here's one for you, Josh. We just talked about this recently. Moss Book 2 is coming to PlayStation VR. Excellent. We talked about it, and boom, it appeared like the next week. And then finally, Crazy. people are super interested in this one. I might check it out. <laughs> I don't know. Weird West coming to uh, the PlayStations and the Xboxes. So hmm. Weird West. Yeah, the people's... weird, the wacky wild West. People seem to be interested in that one, and, you know, good for them. So... Uh, sure. Next up, we got Dale and his Retro Recap. Hey, hey, Mojo Weekly listeners, this is Dale, and welcome to this week's Retro Recap. As always, credit for this goes to GSK from Retronauts.com, StrictlyLimitedGames.com, and LimitedRunGames.com. Before we get started, Shum Appreciation Month is still rolling along. Just want to give a reminder to check out the Twitch channels for John, Josh, Pickle Friction, and myself. For shmup live streams from this past week for games like me streaming Ghost Pilot and Luftwaffe Squadron, Josh streaming the Jaguar and SNES versions of Raiden, John with Darius 2, and Pickle Friction with Raiden 3, and so many more that I didn't even list. And I'm also running weekly high score challenges. This week we are currently score chasing in Mushihimi-sama on Switch in version 1.5 Maniac Mode because we have nothing but endless respect for Cave's brand of bullet hell shooters. Several high scores have already been been posted and there's already deep strategy talk flowing non-stop in the mojo menace discord that you should not miss out on with a couple days left still to post your high score with one credit in version 1.5 maniac mode by the time this airs so you can find the links to all this shim appreciation info in the mojo menace forums under the weekly shim appreciation thread with that out of the way let's get on to this week's releases the only physical release this week is an expanded take from an nes homebrew ROM from several years ago from developer Agent. Limited Run Games is releasing this game titled Amazon's Training Road, which is quote, a lovingly localized version and also expanded version of the runner game Amazon's Running Diet. And this features some of the most detailed sprite work I have seen from an NES cartridge, but make sure to take a look into it before plunking down that 60 bucks because there's not really a whole lot to this runner game but it's going up for pre-order on limited run games alongside another new game from ancient on switch called god of protectors card of darkness the sequel to the beloved 3ds eShop game in the mojo menace community from several years ago hitting digitally this week and right on target for some appreciation month is andro dunos 2 on switch for 20 dollars this SNK horizontal shmup first hit Neo Geo in 1992 and supposedly is also the final pending 3DS physical release. I know I pre-ordered it several months back and supposedly it's still coming out, maybe this year, so if not, get the Switch digital re- release this week. It is also the current background music for this week. The Arcade Archives release this week is Empire City 1931 for Switch and PS4 for $8. This 1986 Taito Shooter, side-scrolling shooter game appears to be another run-of-the-mill light gun game, but it was never released that way. Instead, always has used joysticks to maneuver a crosshair on the screen to blast away adversaries. Finally, by going to romhacking.net or the Mojo Menace show notes for this week, you can find an English translation of the GBA game Klonoa Heroes, Densetsu no Star Metal, an overhead action RPG installment in the series that apparently took fan communities nearly two decades to finish as per GSK. And that wraps it up for this week. Back to you, John and Jayish. Josh, it is time for the spotlight. This time, not the game spotlight, but just the spotlight in general. <clears throat> As Dale so kindly mentioned, uh, this is uh, Intergalactic from Appreciation Month, and it, we're in the final week. Uh, last last few days. 
we, I, this has been maybe my favorite Shmup appreciation month we've ever done, um, from a community point of view, at least. Um, I feel like uh, a lot of participation, lots of people going after the score chase, um, right. participating in the sh- in the chats on the uh, on the streams and stuff. Um, we've been I, I've discovered personally a lot of different shmups that I didn't even know about um, just by watching like you and Pickle Friction and stuff. Um, so yep. it's been a, it's been a fun month, man. It's been a fun month. Likewise, exactly. Yeah, that that the other night we were playing a race racing shoot 'em up game. Um, <laughs> actually, one of Grand Prix, Kingdom Grand Prix. Yeah, uh, Grand Prix. Um, my actually one of my buddies, Jay. He uh, he mentioned that he saw I was hosting you, so he jumped on and watched you stream. It was Saturday night or Friday night. I don't remember when exactly. And he was uh, like, Friday "I night. want this game. Like, I, I think it's <laughs> freaking amazing." And he said it was a really fun stream. And yeah. it's like, damn, that's really cool. We've reached out to a lot of different people and a lot of people that didn't even know what shoot 'em ups were. That was actually yeah. one of my third or fourth stream this month was Jay, who is we called him uh, popping his sh- popping his shmup shmup cherry. We yeah. did a special on that where we where he never really played shoot 'em ups other than like Silver Surfer and Gradius, you know, back in the NES days. So we played yeah. a whole bunch of games. We he and I played through Ikaruga together. Or Ikaraga nice. together, or you know, Ikaruga. Um, Ikaruga. Yeah, it was a blast. It was really cool. So, yeah, I agree. I agree, man. So, it was, it's been a good month. Yeah. So I was thinking, uh, if people want to keep this rolling, they're like, like, like your buddy Jay, who's like, okay, I'm, I'm interested in shmups now. What should I do? Where should I, you know, where should I go for more shmup information, for more shmup resources? And that's what we're calling these oh, shmup there you go. resources. Uh, I, I just wanted to recommend, uh, maybe a few YouTube channels, maybe a few, uh, internet resources, um, and then, uh, just get you going from there. So first up, uh, YouTube channels. Uh, and I, I know that you are a fan of this one as well. We were talking about it before the show. Shmup Junkie. This is (laughs) my amazing. This is my most highly recommended, uh, shmup resource, um, because, yeah. Uh, the shmup junkie, he's he's a fun guy. He's a goofy guy. He makes it fun. Uh he's not afraid to get like super silly with it. And so if yeah. you're not into like like uh so, like a grown ass man being super cringy about stuff, maybe maybe you might be put off by 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 some of his stuff, but I love it. Um and I and I know you do too. <clears throat> Yeah, some of his videos, especially early on, were main mainly just informative. Like, hey, you never heard of this shoot 'em up? Well, here's why you should play it, and here's why it's excellent, and here are the yeah. different ports, and here's how the different ports compare. So it's like really in depth, and the guy does tons of research on this. Yeah. Um, but like what John mentioned, some of it gets a little cringy, and uh, he, uh, he 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 can get very silly and very yeah. funny, and he's he's all over the place. And, and some of his he... specials that I would, he's not afraid. He ain't afraid not, to go out there and put himself out there. Yeah, yeah. He's not afraid to put on a wig. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If you want to know um, what we're talking about, just watch the cotton specials because holy yeah. shit, do those get funny? Yeah, they they are, and I think it's great. And so I I, I kind of led with that just in case people are surprised by that, but I, I don't mean to imply that that's what he does. Like that's his whole. Oh story. no, of course not. Not at no. all. Like like that's just a small percentage. Just be prepared. Every now and then he'll throw a wig on, um, mm-hmm. and, and get crazy. Um, but that's I love right. it. But he yeah. has got some super, super helpful videos, like you mentioned. Um, he's got a video that's uh, 45 minutes long. It's called Best Shoot 'em Ups for Beginners. And it's yeah. really, really, really well done. Uh, he's got another one uh, <laughs> called How to Get Good at Shoot 'em Ups in Seven Days. That's a 25 minute long video. And he's got really great tips, uh, like mm-hmm. dominating the screen and bullet hoarding and all that stuff. Um, uh, let's see. He's got another one called How to Get Good at Shoot 'em Ups and Make It Look Easy. Uh, <laughs> how to Get Good at Shoot 'em Ups, Dominate the Screen, like I just said. Um, and then, like you were talking about, Josh, he's got some really good, just straight up historical, you know, kind yeah. of like, uh, uh, like, like retrospectives. You know, he's got the Untold yep. History of Technosoft Shoot 'em Ups. Yep. Um, he's got one that's three and a half hours long that is near and dear to our hearts. Uh, every PC engine shoot 'em up reviewed. Isn't that and crazy? It, and it's a great video. I watched it while I was working out, you know, over the course of a few days, and I was like, "Fuck, this is great." Um, let's see. Uh, every Toa plan shoot 'em up reviewed. Uh, he's got reviews of like Soul Cresta, uh, new and upcoming retro arcade games in 2022. 
Um, he's got his, his, the next video I believe that he's putting out is for the Egret mini, Egret two mini that just came yeah. out. Um, he's got, you know, <laughs> with his, uh, his, uh, tinfoil hat dweeb character, he's got the worst shoot em ups ever. Nice. Um, yeah. So anyway, uh, shmup junkie. And what one, one thing that I really appreciate it about him is that he's not like a gatekeeper, right? He tries to make it fun for everybody. He's very welcoming with it. You know, he's like, <clears throat> I get that shmups are a very niche uh, genre. Um, and he he's not like internet nerd about it, you know, like like elitist at all about it. He's trying to make it accessible for everybody and to like spread the love of shmups to everybody. Right. Yeah. Um, and that's something that I really, really dig about him, you know. So it's, it's good for... Uh, um, his videos are good for those who love shmups and are huge fans. And they're good for just people walking in, uh, completely ignorant to the whole genre. I think, I think they're great. I think he does a wonderful job and he's definitely my favorite resource when it comes to shmups. Same. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one. Another one, uh, is called the electric underground. Um, and this one is, um, it's maybe not as uh, popular as the shmup junkie, but this one goes into a little more depth on shmups. This is, um, there's a guy, I forget his name. It's like Mike or something, but he's one of the hosts of this on this channel. And he gets into like the nuts and bolts and the fucking science of shmups. Right. So he will sit and he'll dissect a shmup and what makes it great and, and how to like do score chases and stuff on it. So I'm not saying that he's like elitist at all, but he's definitely, he definitely doesn't bring it down a level for beginners, right? So you kind of have to know what he's talking about when you watch his videos. That being said, I've discovered a lot of really great games watching his videos. Hmm. Um, so yeah, uh, it's called the electric underground. Um, and, uh, if you, uh, if you go to shmup junkie, it's, it's, you know, you'll see, um, you'll see it in like recommended channels and stuff. So, um, and that's that how awesome. I, that's how I discovered him was, uh, through shmup junkie. And then finally, uh, there's one called shmups BR B as in boy. Um, here we have hmm. a lot of like shmup breakdowns. Like they get people on who are able to one credit clear, like really difficult shmups and they get on like record holders and stuff. And then they break it down. Like they fucking break it down like frame by frame. Here's what I do. Here's the scoring strategy for this game. So if you really want to get into detail, um, they've got some excellent videos. Shmups BR. B as hmm. in boy. So yeah, there's some good stuff there. Then let's move over to online resources. All right. So uh, the gold standard that uh, we've been recommending, uh, at Mojo Menace for fucking like almost two decades now is shmups.com and the yep. shmups.com forums. Uh, it is an invaluable resource. It is like the place on the internet to get all sorts of information on shmups every year. They also do like the top 25 shmups of all time where everybody in the community votes on it. And that's a fun thing to do if you're like looking for like, okay, what do shmup experts consider the best shmup on any given year? Um, those are fun threads to follow. Um, but they also have a whole section of their forum dedicated to strategy. So pretty much for every shmup you can imagine, right? Scoring strategy. So I, I, th I found it super handy when we were doing write-in for, um, for our weekly score challenge. Yep. I went there and just searched up Raiden and, uh, and I found a lot of really great information. I found some like hidden secrets and scoring tips and things like that. So, um, uh, the shmups.com forums are, are just incredible. Go to shmups.com and then click on forums. Cause I think it's the URL for the forums is something like forums.system11.com or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but, uh, just go to shmups.com and you'll find it also same deal uh shmups on twitter so i believe it's shmups hold on yep so shmups uh if you go to at shmups on twitter uh you'll find a lot of good information um run by uh run by um 
a guy named Elixir. His, his, uh, you know, his handle is Elixir. Um, lots of good news, uh, lots of information, videos, uh, stuff like that uh, at Schmups on Twitter. I've been following Elixir, you know, the Schmups account probably since the day I logged into Twitter. It was like one of the first accounts that I followed. Um, really, really good stuff. And uh, he's also on Twitch uh, at Elixir, E-L-I-X-I-R. Um, you can you can uh, you can watch him stream some stuff there. So, Josh, trying to think if there's anything else, any other resources. Yeah, I was just kind of looking at, um, like, you know how these guys like Shmup Junkie or um, whatever they have these like featured channels or these. There's there's a lot of shmups um, related games that come up in these, but one you didn't mention was Bullet Heaven. Um, oh, yeah. That's a that's a YouTube channel that's actually got more subscribers than just about all of them. Um, more than Shmups yeah. BR or Electric Underground, or even no no sh- no Shmup Junkie has the most. Wow, he's he's come out of nowhere too because his <laughs> stuff. Like I, I mean, a year and a half ago he was like nothing, like he, just yeah. whatever. He was just some goofy guy who like screamed and yelled in front of his camera, but now. Yeah, now he's just huge, but um, that's another good one too. Um, and they, they cover just about everything from bullet hell, you know, to retro, old school style shoot 'em ups to everything, all the new crazy stuff. But yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I, I love the the history too. When it's just one more thing about Shmup Jump Junkie is he'll take like one game and go into such detail about it, um, kind of like from the where it started in the arcade to what systems it got ported to to the differences between the ports and stuff. And some of those that I really enjoy the most are like the Thunder Force historical one, the R-Type historical one. And then he did a really good one that actually got me into Zero Wing on oh, yeah. the uh, Genesis and PC Engine. Because I'd only ever played the PC Engine version. And it's a rarer kind of ish, harder to find one. I never really cared for it on the PC Engine. I'm like, God, I just don't know why anybody would get into this. And the fucking Genesis one is great. Like, it's a <laughs> really good classic shoot 'em up It's way better than the PC Engine one. In my opinion, and in his opinion, too, he kind of did the, you know, here's the pros and cons of each one. And he wound up liking the PC Engine one quite a bit, but still the Genesis one better. But yeah, it's really cool listening to all these people and finding out the differences between some games and how some ports got kind of fucked up by the developers or the pr- publishers were pushing them too hard or who knows what. But yeah, it's good. It's always good to learn about historical games and stuff like that. So Yeah, for sure. So that is how you folks at home can keep appreciating all year long. And uh, thanks to Dale for kind of leading up the, the score chase like yep. he does every year and keeping that torch burning for Christ well over Word. a decade now. Like Dale does yep. a great job with that. And, um, yep. and I just had a, I had a super fun time. It was fun seeing Dave. Uh, come out of the woodwork as a guy who hardly <laughs> ever plays shmups like in any capacity and all of a sudden he's like the fucking high score guy every week yeah total hustler that guy but uh it's awesome anyway yeah I, uh, af- after all of this sh- sh- appreciation i may never play another shooter in the rest of my life i was actually thinking like especially like the four of us you know you me Dale and uh, Pickle Friction, we've played so many damn shmups this month that I, I was thinking tonight, like, I'm pretty excited for next week where I can stream a game that's not a shmup. That's not a shoot 'em up. I was yeah. actually streaming, I was I was streaming Sapphire today. Today it was one of my days on the schedule to stream. So I, I popped on and it was maybe a 30 minute stream because I was yeah. like, after my first run, I was like, ah, that was a pretty good run. And then I played again. I'm just like, I don't have it in me to fucking shoot any more goddamn ships, spaceships. I'm done. Uh, yep. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> yep. Yep. Same. I, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I love shoot 'em ups and I always yeah. will. But um, being kind of, uh, what was it called? Bottlenecked into one genre for so long. Yeah. It's, it's, it's some nights I'm just not in the mood. Um, and, and the last uh, two weeks, I think I've been just not in the mood and getting my ass kicked by these games. It's only so much destruction and defeat and fucking failures that you yeah. can take in a stream where you're finally like in, in hour two, you're just like, well, what game do you guys want to watch me fuck up at next? Cause dude, I can't <laughs> seem to do anything right tonight. And that's, that's been yeah. the entire month. So that's why I was taking requests from you guys the other night. I'm like, okay, it doesn't have to be a shmup. Just give me, just name a game and I'll play it. Um, so I've got, I've, got, <laughs> I've got one more game on the schedule, I think. And it is this guy, one of my all time favorites, Dodon Pachi for the Saturn. Oh, um, nice. I think that's nice. the last game that I'm streaming for the month. I think. Um, and it's one of the games that yeah. turned me into a bit of a shmup junkie. So I'm excited for that one. Very cool. All right. Very cool. Well, that's that.
Josh, last question time. Speaking of game history, what is your favorite video game focused book? Oh, wow. Hi. Um, Jesus, video game. You know what, though? Those, uh, the Turbo Graphics books, those, oh, fuck, what were they called? I've read those from front to back. Hold on, hold on one second. Give me, give me ten seconds yeah. here. Otherwise, I've got like a, a scientific book about speed running, speed running science, oh. and how to get good at speed running. That's a really good book. Give me ten seconds. I, I'm not, I'm not prepared. Yeah, I'm not prepared for this. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So while Josh is doing that, um, the first game related book that I ever read was that kind of the legendary uh, Game Over book by uh, what's his name, David Sheff, I think. Um, that's I mean, the... seriously though, back in the day, I mean, video game themed books. Yeah. I don't know. I got a ton of video game themed magazines, 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 strategy guys. But like these, these, this turbo graphic secrets. Yeah. This is such a good book. I've read this a dozen times. That's the second one. And then the game encyclopedia for turbo graphics. Now is it, it was like, Oh my God, what is this? This is just a book about the video games and stuff, but no, it goes into super, super great detail about the stories and everything. And almost, almost like companion books that go along with each one of That's these. Awesome. Um, yeah, they had tons of stuff in here, like Pacland. Want to know more about Pacland? There's, <laughs> Not there's really. a story to it. There's a story to it. There's a Dungeon Explorer 2 has a whole story before it. Bonk, those games did. And then the other one I had mentioned, the Speedrunning Science, is actually a super good. I, I kickstarted this a few years ago. Um, nice. It talks all about um, ways to investigate games, uh, figuring out the, what is it, random number generator, RNG, um, source, yeah. all sorts of stuff like that, and learning about um how to be a better speedrunner. So I mean I don't know. I'd say any any of those I maybe I took this question a little too seriously, but maybe uh No, that's great. Any one of those and of course you need a good bookmark. So would you like to save your progress? <laughs> yes. No. Well, my, my favorites, answer but, uh, would be um probably Legends of Localization, the um ooh. Earthbound Earthbound edition. Yep. Um, I read that from cover to cover and loved it um, because, you know, it's my favorite game, right? And, you know, say say hi, Ness. Say hi. Um, Ooh, very nice. But uh, um, I learned more about that game than I thought I would ever be able to know. It's just really, really great game or great book. And then there's another one that is not out yet that I kickstarted that I'm super excited for. It's called Legends of 16-Bit Game Development. Damn. And it is all 100% focused on treasure. Oh, my God. That's yes. exciting. Holy shit. Yeah, I'd be down for that. Yeah, if you go to Kickstarter and just search for Legends of 16-Bit Game Development, um, the Kickstarter ended, you know, a while ago. But uh, you can still pre-order it. Um, so I'm, that I'm is incredible. That wow. So that is it for us. Uh, if you want to find more of our stuff, you can go to mojomenace.com where you can find links to our forums, our Discord chat, and our merch store where we have all sorts of t-shirts, not just Mojo Menace related stuff, but t-shirts uh, about shmups. You know, we got a compiled t-shirt. We got a we got a fucking, uh, what else we got, Josh? We got Earthbound t-shirts. We got Bonk t-shirts. We got the t-shirt that Josh is wearing right now. Say no to digital fart ownership. One of the weirdest things I've ever heard on the internet. We've got the t-shirt. We've got it. Um, constantly on sale. Every, every A couple times every month, we've uh, we've got a sale going on. So uh, you can always get shit for a good price. Anyway, I'm done mm -hmm. hawking mm -hmm. shit right now. Um other than that, you can find us here on YouTube, or you might be watching this, youtube.com slash Mojo Menace. You can find us streaming at Mojo Menace on Twitch uh, and all the social medias, or at least, you know, some of them. You can find us at Mojo Menace. Josh, where can they find you? Well, if you'd like to, if you'd like to continue the conversation with me about how we're going to boycott shoot 'em ups for the next 12 months straight, oh, fuck, I'm not playing another one of those <laughs> You can always at me at the Twitterverse at underscore Joshua Turbo. Don't forget the underscores. It is the most important underscore in all of the internet. Buffy. All right. Well, that's it for us. We'll see you next week. Eat the tacos. Come eat them up. Eat the tacos. Come eat the tacos. Eat the tacos. Come eat them up.